Hi Pisces, this is your reading with me for May 2021 for Twin Flame slash Soulmate. So essentially this is for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And then also as well, this we're going to look into your side of things, your Twin Flame or your Soulmate side of things. Now, if you don't know if your person is a Twin Flame or a Soulmate, this reading can also be great for that regard as well, um, in that regard, should I say. Um, and then we're going to look into the outcome. So yeah, if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below. If you'd like to purchase a private paid reading, information is also down below as well. Those are done within 24 to 48 hours. Um, I'm having some issues with my Etsy store right now, so just keep that in mind. It may be resolved. It may lead to me making my own website. We'll have to see how things go, but I just thought I'd mention that in case some of you are clicking the links. Um, you know, it's just one of those things. We have to just see how it goes with time, but um, yeah, thank you so much for all of your support. Um, but if anyone needs anything urgently from my Etsy store, you can always email me and, um, you know, we can we can work it out through through that and uh, PayPal, etc. So you can always get buyer protection on PayPal too. So um, that can really be okay as well. It's just that there's a lot of people right now having actual issues with Etsy. So I just thought I would mention that in case anyone's like, what happened to your store? It's like, you know, um, it just says that I'm not selling on there, even though they're just creating some issues, but it's okay. We will continue here, um, but I thought I'd just let you guys know. So Pisces, let's have a look and see what is going on in this particular situation, okay? So May 2021, let's have a look and see what's coming through on your side. Is it a situation? I want to ask that question too, you know? Does it feel like a bit of a situation? Okay, let's have a look and see. Pisces. So on your side, we've got the Eight of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords. There we go, you can see it now. Knight of Swords and we've got the World card with... Okay, <laughs> the King of Wands. On their side, we've got the Ace of Swords. Wow, that's nice. That's like an epiphany, um, a real realization. Um, wow, okay, let's talk about the reading now. I was gonna actually pull the rest of them, but I'm like, no, let's 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 just get into it straight away. Okay, so what I am seeing here, which I think is beautiful, amazing, very, very lovely, <laughs> is the fact that the Eight of Pentacles shows on your side, you're working hard, you've got your head down, you're doing your own thing, you're focusing on yourself, you really are trying to do the absolute most and the absolute best you can for you. Um, the Eight of Pentacles shows you really just getting to things, working on things, progressing with things. The Knight of Swords here shows a lot of ambition. You're also thinking about progression. I think that you do definitely think of this person and you think like, you know what? It'll work out. It'll be okay. Like Things will progress for sure. It's not all completely lost. It's not all completely gone. It's not all completely turned on its head, right? And then the world card here is about peace and prosperity and balance. The world card is also about um, this really strong vibe and this very strong energy of things um, feeling good in a, in a way and that sense of satisfaction because that's what the world also does represent. Um, you've also got the king of wands. Now the king of wands is really to do with this sense of feeling you know, in control, having power, and actually feeling quite strong within yourself. So I don't feel like you're in a place where you're thinking, oh my god, like, what's happening? Like, why is it happening like this? Like, what's going on? You actually feel like you have power, and you are maintaining that sense of control and power in a really strong way, where you're taking care of yourself, you're putting yourself first, and I think that that's really triggering your your person here, because the Ace of Swords shows an epiphany, okay? An epiphany. Interesting. These are realizations for sure, and then wanting to progress things with you and move things along. So let's have a look and see what the rest of the cards have. Give me a yes, there you go, okay, so I am an upright reader. There you go, you got the Queen of Wands, okay, so you think about this person, but then you also feel in power, so in many ways that is your energy as well as theirs. Um, tarot can also point out more than one energy. Tarot can also, um, tarot is not gender specific, I just want to mention that as well, because a lot of the times it provides an energy, right? Um, so I think that that's also really important as well. Like the Eight of Pentacles, it doesn't really matter um, in the case of like whether you're male or female, like this card means, you know, hard work. It, it it's, it's talking about worth, worth, work, there we go, work ethic. And it's also talking about one step at a time, right? So just wanted to mention that as well. Um, so the Queen of Wands here really shows that they do think about you, they think about your personality, they think you're a great person, you're kind, you're caring, you're very stable. They know that walking a path towards you equals stability, equals support, 
equals comfort. Walking a path without you equals not having that with you, right? And also, I feel like there's not that many people around them that would give you the kind of stability, the happiness that you would give to them. And I think that that is a huge pinpoint and realization because sure, there are lots of different people out there, but nobody is you. And that is something that they're recognizing and realizing so much. I think that also so many of you are very, I mean, as a Pisces, you know, whether you are a Pisces sun, moon, rising or Venus sign, you have a lot of empathy, you are very kind, you're very caring, you can be very intuitive, um, very, very supportive, and just really nice, but also your personality to them is really quite special. And so they're realizing for sure that you bring this really strong, beautiful energy, which is just really kind and caring and, you know, wonderful that they, they just know is really special. And that is something that makes them feel really, really good uh, in many aspects. So yeah, that is what we have there. Let's continue on. There you go, Nine of Cups. It's like a wish, you know, it's like a, my life could come together if I progress with you. My life could potentially be what I have thought about it, you know, because they, this person does want a future eventually. They, they really do want things to progress. They want happiness. They want fulfillment. They want that progression and joy. Um, so they know that they can have that with you. There's that realization, right? Counterparts, king and queen of wands. Oh, whoa. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look, this is, the star is about the stars aligning, right? So this is like really strong energy where it shows here that if they can just kind of let go of the way that they always feel like things need to be, things are coming together. Okay, so in May, they're going to think, wow, maybe my views are a bit too rigid. Maybe I need to let go. I need to heal myself. I need to take care of myself so that I am not always stuck in these really rigid views and always stuck in these ways that are just so, so difficult and challenging and annoying and frustrating. They're like, you know what, maybe I should just get myself together. Maybe I should just focus on myself, take care of myself, and it will all just be good. You know, they're like, why am I stuck in all these really rigid ways that are just challenging, confusing, and frustrating? They're thinking about it in that way. You've also got the page of pentacles as well. Strength, see? They're thinking of... So they're becoming stronger. As are you though. Let's be very honest about that. You're also becoming stronger. Connection is becoming stronger. Their views are becoming stronger. Page of Pentacles, they're having more realizations. Hermit. Hermit, hermit. Okay, so Hermit is very important here because the Hermit really does represent a very, very, very strong energy, which is to do with the fact that essentially this energy is very, very vital. And the reason it's really, really vital is because the Hermit shows a lot of reflection happening within themselves. And ultimately, yes, you're doing some reflection, but you're kind of just keeping your head down, you're working on yourself. Now, when you are putting energy towards yourself, it can spiritually trigger the other person to think much more about you. I genuinely believe that's what's happening. You're taking care of yourself, you're doing you, you're focusing on aspects that you're working on, right? Your home life, your routine, you're doing your own thing, your goals, your hobbies, um, you know, educating yourself on, on different things, um, watching and reading the things that you, you love, right? <laughs> I mean, you are here, but I mean, you know, you might just be here because you're just like, oh, what's this girl on about? <laughs> Anyways, so um, ultimately you're doing your own thing. That's really triggering them to think about their future, to strengthen up, to let go of sort of their rigid views and to be much more open and honest about the things that they want to do, for example. So there's definitely a really strong energy in regards to them recognizing and realizing like, you know what? I want to do this. I want to do this. I want to get myself together. I want to progress. Um, there's a really powerful energy in that sense and really just wanting to get oneself together. Um, that is something that is really coming through and that's something that is really progressing. So it's obviously a very significant energy and I think that actually it's a really good thing as well, right? Because I think that there's progression here and there's things that are they're definitely moving forward. I mean, this really is one of the best readings in the context where it's showing that if you do you and you focus on yourself, universe will shape itself around you. This person, your twin flame or your soulmate, right? Your person here is also much more focused on you when you are just living your best life, doing your own thing, 
okay being in your own energy and ultimately that triggers them to think what they can do how they can get themselves together they think about their future etc so this is your reading pisces and wow what a reading so um if this resonates with you of course let me know in the comment section below don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already check out the description box below for information on private paid readings free reading giveaway and of course intention items which you're not see and take care of everyone <laughs> bye